Hello fellow bushcrafters. Today I'm going to be trying to make, if the midges allow me, a Dakota fire hole. Uh, these are some tent pegs. I'll use them to support the pan that I put on top. And I will be making the Dakota fire hole using exclusively Fisker's products. Let's see how good they are. I've been using this solid planters trowel for a while now. It is really, really good. It's really strong, but it's also very lightweight. I also have the Fiskars X7 axe. It's a really, really good axe. It bites really deep. The edge retention is really good. I've uh, used it on a couple of trips now, and I haven't sharpened it in between, but it's still going strong. And I also have new for me the Fiskars K40 utility knife. It came very, very sharp from the factory, able to pass the paper test. I would not baton with this knife. It is a, I think it's one point something millimeters thick, and it is a hollow handle. I don't know what kind of tang it is, but I believe it's uh, a stick tang or you know only very partial inside this plastic handle i have seen on the internet that it floats like this and it has an orange cap i have also seen a few people say that they can take this cap off and put uh, a small kit inside so yeah trowel axe knife i do also have a saw but even though i was planning to make this video uh, i totally forgot it and uh, left it at home but yep the axe is more than capable i was able to gather quite a lot of wood very easily so yeah i'm gonna get digging So it took just over half an hour, but this is my attempt at a Dakota fire hole. This is the small air intake. This is the burn chamber. And you might be able to see that they are connected. They are connected a little bit more than I wanted, but there was a large stone just there and when that came loose. It just opened up between the two. So yeah, uh, now I'm going to go get some water. Hey guys, I'm uh, down here at this uh, little creek. Is that what you would call it? I guess so. And uh, I don't think I need this. The water looks pretty clear, but I'm going to use it anyway. This is a Milbank bag. That's uh, M-I-L-L-B-A-N-K, Milbank. And uh, this particular Milbank bag cost me somewhere in the region of £6.50, maybe £7. That's about uh, $9 something, I think. Uh, I got this off eBay. It's by Boonies Outdoor. 
and the idea with this is that you soak it and you fill it with water it's like a like a stocking and you fill it with water as you can see it has a point here and you let it filter for a little bit and then you uh, let the water run into your container and it should hopefully be filtered the container I have is my canteen cup so yeah let's see how this works It's slower than I thought it would be. So the water did look clear, but there's clearly some uh, brown stuff in it. I don't, I don't, I'm not too worried, I think it's just minerals. I can see that the water running into the cup, so far it looks clear, but it's pretty shallow at the moment. This is, this really is a lot slower than I thought it would be. I wasn't expecting it to, to gush out, but I wasn't expecting a, a dribble like this. I hope this is worth it. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, comment down below if I'm doing something wrong. Am I supposed to be squeezing this or, or what? But yeah, I, I, I thought it would be faster. <laughs> oh, this is taking forever. No, it's not dribbling at all. Oh. So this is the water I gathered. As you can see, it's still got a bit of colour to it. When I was in Wales, I remember uh, an owner of a campsite called this Welsh Cola. But right now I'm in Scotland, so I guess this is Scottish Cola. It is a bit clearer than uh, straight out of the stream. And there's no large particulates, so it should be safe, uh, especially after I've boiled it. The Fiskars K40 comes in this plastic sheath. It's very utilitarian. It does have a belt loop. I'm not sure what this is for. I think it might be compatible with some kind of mounting system. It has a hole at the tip here to let water drain. It also has holes along the spine here. I think that's just for design. It may also be for grip. The retention is excellent. The K40 has a 90 degree spine, but an attempt has been made at rounding it slightly, which means that though it does generate a few sparks with a lot of pressure, Hold on. It is nowhere near as good as some bushcraft knives or the dedicated striker that comes with a ferro rod. This knife cost me just under 12 pounds. 
that is roughly fifteen dollars. I think it is a decent budget friendly carving knife. It is also very low maintenance considering it is stainless steel and at 70 grams it is very light. So if you are looking for a very lightweight knife then you won't go too wrong with this. Of course it has its limitations. Being a hollow handle and not a full tang. I have seen already some reviews saying that this can be very easily destroyed. I'm not going to put that to the test, I want to keep this. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend battening with this. That being said, it is very sharp straight from the factory. I'm sure it is easy to sharpen. It is listed only as stainless steel. I'm not sure what kind of stainless steel it is. But uh, this is designed to be a utility knife for use in the garden, around the house. So I've no doubt that this is a very easy to maintain knife. So yep, lightweight, easy to maintain, very practical and budget friendly. I think this would be a decent knife, as I said, if you are into very lightweight uh, backpacking. As long as you understand that uh, this is limited to uh, just general camp chores and carving and not battening. Also, I would recommend that you keep the dedicated striker that comes with your ferro rod should you go out with this knife as it is not a good ferro rod striker. The Dakota fire hole has got going now. Nice rolling boil. It's been like that for almost a minute, so I think it should be safe. I'm going to take it off, let it cool a bit, and then add some coffee. So that was making a Dakota fire hole with Fiskars products. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Thank you Fiskars. I'm not uh, sponsored by you guys but I do enjoy your products. I already owned a, a couple of products and I was curious about the Fiskars K40. I wouldn't say it's a bushcrafting knife per se, but it is a lightweight camping knife and it's not very offensive. It's, uh, it doesn't look very tactical or anything. Also, I think it would be good around the house and in the garden. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, until next time, keep enjoying nature. <sighs> Not exactly leave no trace, but it's the best I can do. That's what remains of the fire pit. I think the Dakota fire hole is an interesting idea. 
I don't think this was the right environment to do it in. I'm currently on a slope and the earth here is very rocky. There's also lots of roots. The stream is over there. Yep, I will definitely try the Dakota Fire Hole again sometime, hopefully with better results.